Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to be revisiting a film that I have already reviewed on my channel a long time ago, albeit from a different perspective. Without further ado, on with the review. Frankenweenie is a 1984 short film created by Tim Burton as a parody and homage to Mary Shelley's Frankenstein and its 1931 adaptation. I discussed its 2012 stop motion remake a couple of years ago during my Halloween month and unlike that film, I've actually only seen this short once before. Even then, I could definitely see how it influenced the film hence why I'm making this video to discuss it now. The film opens similarly to the 2012 film, with Victor watching a home video that he made with his dog Sparky as the star. Immediately after, he goes outside to play with Sparky, who is hit by a car after chasing a ball. We get some gothic opening credits with a somehow cutesy graveyard in the background, and Victor and his parents are seen standing at Sparky's grave, much like the shot in the remake. Victor walks to school with his friends, whose costumes are somewhat similar to their remake counterparts, a detail that made me chuckle upon my first viewing of this. In school, Victor learns about galvanism, and immediately runs home to begin his experiment. The experiment scene is the part of the short that I think is most similar to its remake. It's almost exactly the same aside from the medium that it's presented in, which is understandable given that it is a parody of the reanimation scene from Universal's Frankenstein. Victor secretly stays home to spend time with Sparky, but while he is sleeping, the dog gets outside and scares the living daylights out of everyone in the neighbourhood. Victor's parents then discover that Sparky is alive and are reasonably concerned, and the following day a commotion starts over the dog, leading to an angry mob. This last segment is again, almost exactly the same as the 2012 film. Sparky gets scared and runs away, and Victor chases him to a golf course, where the boy becomes trapped in the windmill prop. Conveniently, this is accidentally set on fire, and Sparky rescues him, but is then crushed as the windmill collapses. The neighbours then reanimate Sparky once more, using their jumper cables, and he shares a kiss with an Elsa Lancaster looking poodle. I think that this is a fun and cute little short, but the 2012 film was definitely a lot better in my opinion. There are obvious differences between the two, like the short is live action, and the 2012 film is stop motion animation and I think you can do a lot more with the latter medium as you don't have the same restrictions as when you work with people and sets. For example, the effects here aren't terrible, but they are quite dated and goofy looking. There are a couple of familiar faces in this short as well, like Shelley Duvall and Barrett Oliver? Bastion? Is that you? The story is definitely stronger in the 2012 film as well, as we have more time to spend with the characters and expand on ideas. Victor is shown to be quite reclusive aside from his companionship with Sparky, so when the dog dies, it's more emotionally taxing for the characters. Characters like the teacher and neighbourhood children also seem more alive rather than just being props to move the story along, and Victor is shown to interact with them a lot more on screen, especially after Sparky dies. Even details like Sparky playing with the poodle from early on in the film is a nice detail. The humour is a lot more tongue-in-cheek compared to the original short as well. Colossus? One thing I found interesting while doing research for this video was that Tim Burton was actually fired from Disney for making this short, as the executives were concerned that it wasn't child friendly enough. I linked an article in the description about this if any of you are interested. Well, that's all for this video. Be sure to follow me on social media as they are all linked in my description box. Don't forget to like and subscribe, 
and to leave your thoughts in the comments down below. I hope you all enjoyed the video, and as always, thanks for watching. Something like a photo to ease my mind With photos by my side, I'll always shine The blue and green ones are my favorite kind But I'll eat the colored ones from time to time Cause polos is life, 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 polos is life. Polos is life. Sleep all night